Okay, this is going to be the next video in the learning about CBD video uh, session. Um, we'll start out with how is CBD able to do the things that it does by Ryan Miller, Bachelor of Computer Sciences, Kaplan University. Uh, to understand how CBD and cannabis heals the body, you need to first know about the endocannabinoid and the endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is responsible for regulating balance in our body's immune response. Communication between cells, appetite and metabolism, memory and more. In spite of a, the intrigual role that this system takes on, until recently it remained mostly unknown part of the human's body's function. Named for the plant that inspired its discovery, the endocannabinoid system's importance is only just becoming understood by the medical community. It is through this system that the naturally occurring cannabinoids from the medical marijuana interact with our bodies and triggered its beneficial effects. With the potential to greatly affect the way our bodies work, it is essential that we recognize how to maintain a healthy endocannabinoid system, which in largely by the entire scientific community has been overlooked. Uh, so, what is the endocannabinoid system? Alright, the endocannabinoid system is made up of several integrated mechanisms. There are enzymes responsible for creating and destroying cannabinoids. There are receptor sites on cells to receive cannabinoids. And the endocannabinoids themselves, cannabis-like compounds that are naturally produced by the human body, these mechanisms are predominantly responsible for communication within the body to best regulate various biological responses. One of the prime questions being raised in these early studies was whether the body produced its own natural equivalents to previously discovered compounds called photocannabinoids, like THC and CBD found in the cannabis plant. The answer turned out to be yes. In the form of endocannabinoids, like the two prominent analogs, THC and CBD, amandamine and 2-AG, with the understanding that humans create our own cannabinoids, the door to deconstructing their purpose was opened. What does the endocannabinoid system do? Endocannabinoids are created in response to needs within the larger psychological system and are largely understood to be used for the body's regulatory functions. Acting backwards on presynaptic cells, they control the volume at which communicating signals are sent. It is in this way the endocannabinoids affect duration and intensity of the wide range of psychological processes under their control. However, it has been reportedly noted that while the endocannabinoid system is linked to a number of important processes and is concentrated in the brain, nervous system, and reproductive organs, it does not affect regions of the brain controlling the heart and lung function. This is one of the main reasons that fatal overdoses of cannabinoids do not occur. When the body creates neurotransmitters for the endocannabinoid system, they are picked up by specialized cannabinoid receptors. These receptors are found in a wide range of psychological regions, such as the immune system. A number of organs, glands, connective tissues, and most significantly out of all, the brain. Endocannabinoids interact with these receptors with the goal of helping the body achieve homostasis, or equilibrium within the body despite outside influences. So, where the cannabinoids connect in the endocannabinoid system? The endocannabinoid system's receptor sites include CB1 and CB2 receptor variants, which respond differently to different cannabinoids. CB1 receptors are most prevalent in central nervous system and are linked to modulating stress and anxiety, increased appetite, decreased nausea, immune system balance, and even inhibitating tumors. CB2 receptors are found mostly on cells in the immune system and seem to dominate in fighting inflammation and damaged tissue. Some cells can even contain both types of receptors, each responsible for a different function. That's going to be the end of this PowerPoint. I'd like to do them in small intervals because I know people usually don't like to watch really long videos. But if you're interested in obtaining CBD products, I would like you to visit our website. And I will put the website in the link below. Thank you very much for taking the time to view this presentation. This is Ryan Miller. Have a great day. Bye.